So, uh, we should add a another thing here. So, high pass here. So, the high pass. Oh, yeah, the high pass. It makes it more crispy. It's like I'm gonna show you soon. Uh, you'll see. But let's go over to lines. So we can make this on overlay. And when you do a texture, you wanna like you you wanna over exaggerate the the edges. You wanna really show the edges. So just put this to overlay and then uh, change the brush to white and you just paint on the on the edge of the uh, of the thing uh, or on the edges because I know there's an edge here so I'm just gonna take my hardness down like this Okay, so you can take this down a bit, the opacity, and we could actually, on the additional shadow, uh, add some white on top of here, since it's metal, and we want it to, we want it to shine. Really bright. Now obviously it's gonna be a bit dirty this is a very dirty scene often when you make stuff dirty it's more realistic so wait a second hold on this is that so I guess yeah that can be wood box okay Okay, so let's take this down because that is way too bright. Uh, like that, so that did a little. So now, um, we're gonna do the high pass. So if you just wanna save this, like save it as a PS, uh, yeah, just save it like here. And then you press Control Shift. You press and you have this barrel. You take it at PNG and save it wherever you want to save it. And then you um, you open it like this. We have the barrel here. You open it and then you press filter, um, other, and high pass like this. So now you just take this. And you put it in high pass and you put it on overlay. So now you see the texture got a more, more like crisp from that. So you probably want to take down the opacity, but it still does a little bit. Makes the texture look more alive, uh, so to speak. 
Uh, okay, so this is pretty much done, I would say. Now we save this and just don't save that. Uh, now we make the maps. So this is, I'm j just gonna show you the easiest way to make a map. So open your barrel texture with the uh, save. Save this again as a PNG. Save it over the, the, the one you did, like this. And open it when it's done saving. And now you press filter here. Uh, and press X normal. You have the X normals. Height to normals. So what this is going to do is going to create a normal map from the texture. So here you can take this down and you can see it becomes really hard. Uh, uh, yeah, it becomes really like unsmooth. So, depending on what you're doing, you're gonna wanna have to shape this a bit. So I'm gonna take uh, 0.3. So now we got this. This is pretty good. So I'm gonna Control C, and I'm gonna put this in here, like so. Uh, just gonna hide that maps folder because it's not needed. And this, uh, I am um, I'm just gonna, yeah, okay. So now we did that. No, I should have uh, saved that. So now, I'll just do that again, we don't have to do that, hide to normal, 0, 3, continue. Okay, and now I just save this, because this is your normal map, you want this on a different folder. So you just save this as, barrel, under strict, or under, <laughs> under, line, I don't know, uh, normal, put in PNG and put it whatever you feel that you need to put it, save it, boom. And now from this normal map, press filter again, you press stylize, find edges, and then you press control U, take the saturation down to zero, and then control I. So, uh, no, you don't do control I, because you want the metal to shine. So now you press Ctrl L, get up levels. So now you can make it so that the. Uh, or actually, I think you do need to press Ctrl I, and Ctrl, Ctrl L. And then you need to make. Yeah, you can have it like this, but we want to make these bright. So. We can do. Uh, why did I do that? Uh, make it a bit like that. So, okay. So we can add another layer and we can make it very white, like this. On top, oh my god. On top. Uh, on top of this. Press shift there to make it a straight line. But since these aren't straight. And then we just put this on the overlay. Just, um... Uh, no, we do not. We have them on normal and we take down the opacity on them. Or actually, I think we can have them like that. Maybe a bit like that. And then we just merge these, merge the layers. And then we save this as a specular. And, uh, you know, whatever. Wherever you want to put it. 
and uh, I recommend putting it in uh, here too. So now we have everything here. Okay, so now we are pretty much done with this. So we can try try putting this in uh, like for example if you want to put this in amnesia I can show you how to do that so but I think we're gonna have to put that in another part because this is very long <laughs> it's gonna take ages to render uh, so yeah see you in the next part and I'll show you how to put this in game goodbye Subscribe and like and comment if you have any problems or comment if you want me to show you something else and I'll make sure to, to do it. Thank you. Goodbye. Good.